Give it a little bit of tension and yeah. It's still there, still there. Okay. There we go, got it. Nice. Well, good afternoon, morning, I don't even know. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today is the middle of January and I am on Last Mountain Lake, on Pelican Point to be exact. If you look around me, it's a shack city here. Uh, so I drove maybe four kilometers from Regina Beach. There's a nice ice room, way better than last year. I thought there was gonna be so much snow, but it was a very smooth drive. And uh, over there, there's Lou and Dawson. Hey, <laughs> yeah, they came here earlier and uh, they already set up camera, life scope. Yeah, I just got here. And uh, this is a big fish lake. My goal today, if lucky, get a big walleye. Obviously on the underwater camera. So yeah, uh, beautiful day out here. Not too cold, no wind. A little bit overcast, sun is just behind a cloud. And uh, yeah, I think it's good condition. So let's get started. Let's drill our first hole. Scoop the ice and slush out. There. Okay. 20 feet. Okay, I'm gonna use, what am I gonna use? Okay, here. So I've been using this rod for almost a year now. Um, I've been running fluorocarbon line on the spool. But because the spool is too small in diameter, it creates so much uh, coils. So I switched it to braided line. And look at the color matching. Green and black. I love it. So on the business end, this is 8 pound fluorocarbon leader. And then the new CR Bay jig. I believe it's a... I forgot the name, it's like hot magma or something. This is a red, it glows in the dark. And uh, a shrimp scented plastic, looks like a creature, like a bug. I have huge faith in this setup, so let's drop it down. All right, first drop. Because it's tungsten, it falls quickly. I can get to the bottom in no time. Not marking fish at the moment. If I start mark fish and catching fish, I'll set up the underwater camera. The chase no bite. Ah. Oh, I had a bite. I had a bite. I had a bite. They have light bite. There, there we go. Oh. oh, what is this? What is this? Cisco. Hey Lou! Oh, First fish! <laughs> oh. That's on the new color CR bait right down the trap. Okay, look this out. It's bleeding a little bit, but actually that's a that's a good size for pike tip up fishing, but we'll let it go. Yep. Oh, pulled out. Pulled out. There's fish down there. There's big fish. You don't know how to fish anymore? Yeah. Like you're you're watching the the mark, but you can't make it bite. Where? No, it's just not. Yeah, it's not biting me. I see like thick mark. Oh, careful. There. You're not even setting it up. I am. I'm really doing. Doing, I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. I want to set up the Thank the sucker. You. I saw a big pike on the underwater camera. Oh really? Big belly, yeah. Okay, I'll put the the, uh, the sucker in there. Where's my big sucker? Come here, buddy. Big sucker. Okay. Okay. 
This is a big sucker from past summer. Caught it from Sandy Creek. You got, you got a sucker? Oh, it's, it's not like, yeah, baby, bigger. it's it's pretty good. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> good job, Rachel. We're doing micro fishing today. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice fish, hey? Yeah. Perfect size for a pike tip up bait. Oh, it's still frozen. All right, just gonna go through the back. Like that. And it's sitting horizontally. And drop it down. Okay, where is my bait? Oh, it's on the bottom already. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good distance off the bottom. Okay. I am set. Now I'm just gonna set the trigger. Good to go. And uh, we're gonna open the bale. Okay, if a pike takes the bait away, the flag is gonna pop up and I'm gonna see it and uh, come grab the fish. Okay, what's going on? It's not recording. Yeah, it was not plugged in. Okay. Oh my goodness. No way. No way. Please don't break. Please don't break on me. Oh my goodness, I broke the cord. I broke the HDMI cord, so no recording today. <laughs> oh. All right. I could actually see my rattle bait pretty good. Yeah. Well, 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 well. This sucks. What the heck? No, don't even try. All right, so guys, that's what happened. Broke the connection. So no underwater video for today. Oh, tip up. Oh. Holy smokes. My tip up. Oh, it's going. It's going. First one on the iFish Pro tip up. Oh my goodness. It's peeling line, it's peeling line. <laughs> Still going on the seven inch sucker. I've never done this before, like tip up, iFish Pro tip up. So you, you just close the bale and then yeah, the I'd wait until it's like, when you feel it taking line, close the bale as it's running away from you. Yeah, it, it's just constantly taking line now. Look at that. Like, so just like let it sit and then I'd let it do a bit of a run. Okay. So. Maybe a pipe. I wouldn't yank it too hard though. Yeah. No, just just close the bail and, and then reel and pull. Yep. Have it, give okay. it a little bit of tension and yeah. Still there, still there. Okay. There we go. Got it. Nice. Doesn't feel big at all. Small. Oh, oh, do I still have it? Yeah. Where is it? Is this stuck? Oh, it's still no. on, still on. Oh, there. it's still on. You're not on the ice. Okay. Oh, oh, it's pulling out. It's pulling. Oh. That's gotta be a pike. Oh, that's a pike. That's gotta be a pike. You got a bump board? Uh. I got one in the back of my track, Lou. Okay. I do. I got one in my sled, too. Oh, oh just... it's not. Okay, it's heavy. I was gonna say, <laughs> <laughs> The first couple of runs were like, felt small, but okay, yeah, this is not small. You want me to land it for you, or are you gonna want to? Um, it? yeah, you can you can okay. land it for me. Oh man, Dawson will lose an arm for you if he has. <laughs> I don't know if it's a master. I might have to just like bang it down the hole, oh, oh, okay. so I don't it's have to watch it another one. <laughs> oh man. Okay, coming up, coming up. 
Maybe I'll tighten my drag a little bit. Oh man, this is feels good. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tighten your drag. Can't see. I don't know if it's at the hole yet. No, it's okay. it's still going down. Keep keep pulling. Yeah, I'll tighten my drag a little more. Don't go too tight. Yeah, I know. If it's a big girl, you wanna. Okay, maybe loosen it a little bit here. Oh yeah, it, it is heavy. I was gonna say that. <laughs> that seems like a pretty heavy fish to me. Nice. Oh man. Yeah, yep. This is a 38 inch frostbite true grit. Uh, yeah, my arm is getting sore. Uh, is it running? I think it's just or are you dead just weight. Stuck on the ice? Like it's it doesn't seem like it's running. Right? Now it now it's stuck. Now it's oh, stuck? Yeah. Oh no it's not. Okay. It's, it's, it's just are, heavy. It well it might have gotten stuck and he might have pulled her free. Holy smoke. Like I don't see any high high out there. I know, right? No, it's it I can feel it pull line when oh, really? he Yeah. Wow, it's Oh yeah, no, it's there. it's still there. I can't see. I think he's I think he's at the hole. Okay. Okay, just be okay, careful slow. there. I can't even see him. Uh, I no, just have no, a stop you're on the ice. I just have a single. Yeah, just let travel. it take. There you go. Okay. okay. Now All now right. fight it. Oh I see it, I see it, yeah. I think you're on the ice again. Let him take some line. Okay. There you go. Okay, now fight him. It's thick, so we'll have to take a couple of tries. I yeah. let him just like come up the hole. You're still, you're not on the ice. Okay. Now you are. So let him take what it. There you go. Okay, now fight him back. We're just gonna have to wait until it, yeah, it decides yeah. to come up the hole. It's too, too much ice. I will let him run a little bit even, if you uh -huh. loosen your drag a tiny okay. bit. So then he can go down more and then come back with his mm -hmm. head first. But yeah, anytime it gets hung up, I just like let him take the line because he seems to be willing to do that. Yeah, the joys of three feet ice, hey? Uh -huh. Is it just one hook or just one it... single treble? Okay, yeah, that's perfect. We learned our lesson. I was from gonna last say, winter. <laughs> good. I'm le I'm less afraid of a gill or gill grabbing this guy. Then you're on the ice again. I think you just got to keep doing that until he gets his okay. head up, because like ice. And then you need to let him run okay. further, so he can reorientate. Okay, just let you run. See, he's running. Oh yeah, that's good. Wow. Did it bite or did you foul hook a carp and we're never going to get it up this hole? Or I guess it was a tip up. Yeah, tip yeah. up. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, he bit it. Unless he swam past it. Okay, I'm going to fight it now. It would be hilarious if you fell hooked a carp and you were trying to get it up this hole. <laughs> but you don't see it, That'd be fun. I haven't seen him yet. Oh, it's coming up. I think it's stuck on the ice again. Yeah. Can you see? Let go. Oh. Can you like, yeah, like, try to... Is this still there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's still there. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a pipe. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's not that big, hey? It's not even that big. There's, there's that. Whose line is that? Oh, yeah, it's, it's not that. even that big. Whose line? Is that my line? Uh, what the heck, man? No, that's just the end of it. Yeah. You must have just. No, I don't have green line. Well, no, but there's no more to it, so he must have a hook Th in him. This probably. is not. This. Oh yeah. It's He's probably some, got two oh, hooks yeah, in him. Someone else's hook. Okay, I got. I got players here. I think it's a, it's a nice. It's decent, story, but it's not. Okay. I'm not as jealous as the last bike I watched you catch. <laughs> I have a bigger, Oh yeah, it, no, that's down his that's down his throat. Player. Okay. Just keep the guy like it's a eater. Really? This is a eater? Yeah, oh yeah. Absolutely. I'd eat okay. that pike. Yeah. You eat that? Oh yeah. Okay, we'll keep it. Yeah. That's a eater Especially a gut hook pike like that? Yeah. Any day. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Like perfect eater size. How long is it? Like thirty inches? Probably like maybe twenty eight. Twenty eight, yeah. Say. I'd say that's like All right. that's like the ideal size yeah, to eat a pike. Okay. Yeah. We'll keep it. Bait hook is out. Wow, he's got someone else's line there. I don't know whose line that is, but whose line is this? I have no idea. Let's see how long she is. 
29 inches right there. 29, yep. You mind taking a picture for me? <laughs> I haven't caught a fish for like months. <laughs> really? For a month, I think. Really? Like a real fish, other than Cisco's. So good thumbnail. thumbnail. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Thanks, man. Yeah, Thanks, man. Okay. You want to keep it? Do you want to keep it? No, I. No, I'll don't. keep it. You keep it? Yeah, I'll eat it. Okay. I'll just. I'm actually looking for fish too. Yeah, to just... eat? Okay, I'll just I'll throw. Just okay. That was cool. With, yeah. a, with a sucker I caught last Perfect. summer. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. From Sandy Creek. <laughs> <laughs> Drill another hole to the south and instantly marked a fish. I'm using a PK Spoon Wonder Bread tip with a perch eyeball. But they seem to be shy. They're definitely not aggressive. Oh, here we go. He's coming up. Let's try dropping to the bottom and pounding the mud because. This is actually mud bottom. Wow, Cisco right below the ice. Oh, tapped it. No, what the heck? Oh, it's got it. It's got it, okay. That was fun. Slack line. Oh, big Cisco. Nice. On the chin. On the chin. There we go. PK spoon with perch eyeball. Small size, probably 13 inches. Going back. Going back. Oh, there's a, another Cisco. Another Cisco creeping up. Oh. Buddy, come up. Oh. There we go. Another one. <laughs> this is a small size. Look at that. Oh, there's probably walleye down there. Walleye. Ola, dinner. Drop, drop, drop. Ooh. I'm sure he had it. Yeah. Oh, oh that's fun. Oh, it came off. Came off. Felt like a Cisco. I'm 90% sure that was a Cisco. Mm. You caught a Cisco? How big? 13, like, yeah, I caught two more over there. Cisco's, yeah. Nope. <laughs> I find the Cisco from this lake are generally smaller. Yeah. Smaller than Pasqua Echo. That was like two years ago my dad caught at Regina Beach. 22 inch Cisco, yeah. A lot of people say it's, it's whitefish, but it's not. Yeah, it's, Cisco. it's Cisco, yeah. You know, there's been so many times I I was like, okay, midday, no fish. Let's wait for prime time. It should be better. And then there's there's oh, never prime I time. I think like, if midday is bad, prime time is not going to be that great. Yeah, at least midday, you got to see some fish. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. Got a Cisco on the screen. Oh, tapped it. Oh, I had it on. I had it on. Okay, don't think I heard it. Oh. Oh, he had it. He had it. Come on, buddy. On. I'm on. Nice, Cisco. Cisco Disco. Right on the corner of the mouth. All right, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this video. Um, now it's two weeks later. I got a new HDMI cord uh, also with a 90 degree turn connection head. So hopefully this way I won't be breaking more cords. And next time I will, I will definitely be uh, bringing extra HDMI cords so I can get that uh, underwater footage for you guys. And, you know, 
that's the nature of fishing. It was a slow day. We didn't see anybody pull out a walleye, mostly just perch, dink perch and uh, small tulbies. I'm just glad that I was able to uh, uh, catch a pike with a iFish Pro tip up. That was my first time. Later, I did find out that uh, I was fighting both fish and the other line. Um, it would have been just, I think five minutes fight and uh, we'd be able to pull that pike out of the hole. But anyway, yeah, you know, it was a it was a beautiful day, good company. Uh, Lou, it was nice uh, seeing you again. And Dawson, I'm sure uh, I'll fish with you again. And hopefully uh, next time I'm gonna catch another master angler size pike in front of you, hey? <laughs> How about that? Yeah, guys, if you like this video, like my channel, I'll give it a like, subscribe. I'm very close to getting to a thousand subscribers, which has always been my goal since the beginning. So yeah, I appreciate your support and uh, we'll see you next time on T10 Outdoors.